She reunited Harry's life now she's moving on to another. Lady Colin Campbell said that Meghan Markle had a meeting with Gordon Getty at the Beverly Hills Hotel. She's discreetly and subliminally flirting with the billionaire, Gordon Getty. Getty is a widower and 89 years old, and it seems that Meghan has been telling him sad stories of sacrifice and hard living. The Empress on Tumblr spills the beans about Meghan and Getty's connection. She said, I'm friendly with a girl called Anya, she's in the industry and she's linked to the Getty family. What she's told me sounds like it's true, that Meghan has forced her way into this man's life and has already brainwashed him. The family is extremely upset and worried. What Anya said is that they're trying to get some sort of conservatorship placed on him. They've noticed large sums of money going missing and shifted out. He's suspected to be potentially senile or heavily depressed, easily led. Anya has links in San Francisco and has heard that Harry is hanging out with known drug users of the society type and has moved out into a luxury condo provided by Salesforce or better up, can't remember which one, while Megan is in Los Angeles. The kids, no one knows what's going on. You say she's been told the kids haven't been anywhere on Getty property. Gordon is said to be very generous. It's believed that Megan has been telling a massage story about how she feels unsafe and has been hinting at wanting up to 20 to 30 million dollars for a mansion. The rumor claims that Megan spends much of her time visiting Gordon, and his family is very worried about him. However, it's also no secret that his family has no love for her. Moreover, Sabine Getty, the wife of Joseph Getty, a member of the famed Getty family and a renowned jewelry designer, has stated multiple times that she doesn't like Markle. Gordon Getty and in the late Anne Gilbert, were married in 1964 until she passed away in 2020. He has seven children, three are from his longtime mistress. We can see why the Getty children are concerned. The father is worth over $2 million, and Meghan reportedly informed Queen Elizabeth that she walk away from Harry for a cool $1 billion. It looks like Getty can help Meghan achieve her goal. If it happens, it'd be awful for the Getty family since they know Meghan isn't doing humanitarian work with Giddy and she isn't spending time alone with him just to be nice to an elderly man. When Meghan declares her fondness and love for Gordon Getty, what will the squad members think about her? Clearly, Meghan doesn't care, she just needs to love fond the elderly gentleman and get the ball rolling, which would mean the marriage of Rachel Markle to Harry is coming to a close. Harry might not know it yet, but it seems Meghan definitely has new plans for her life. She isn't amused by the laughter the world is enjoying, courtesy of Harry's and her words in the book. Meghan wouldn't like to stick around to be sniggered at by A-listers and aristocrats in Britain. Recently, royal experts have just stepped forward with their own thoughts about the unnatural postures and body language Prince Harry allegedly showcases while in physical proximity to Meghan Markle. Claims and admissions about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's seemingly unnatural approach to paparazzi and fans have been referenced by royal commentator Ingrid Seward. She shed light into everything during her interview with GB News. In the midst of this interview, she referenced the couple's video about cyberbullying, released via the Archule Initiative and branded it unnatural. According to experts, this shifting narrative is simply a PR move meant to showcase solidarity amid rumors of an impending divorce. They all look very beautiful. It's in their garden, and they talk to these young kids and say how wonderful they are, but it's totally controlled, and I think rather unnatural. She also went as far as to add that I think it's a PR stunt.